89 verses 8 to 9 declares, O Lord God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee, thou rulest the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Are you consumed or weighed down by fear because of situations that you don't know how to fix? Well, Hold on to this promise. God not only has the whole world in his hands, he's holding the details of your life in his faithful hands. So, why not praise him for the victories you are anticipating? What a joy and pleasure it is to have you in our midst this morning. I am Minister Sharon Duffus Grant, and on behalf of our founder, our international presiding bishop and general overseer, Apostle Dr. Delpha Davis, and his wife, our international first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, Reverend Isilda Notman, the International Executive Management Council, ministers, and the Power of Faith dedicated family members. Welcome to our Sunday morning live worship service. We're coming to you from the Power of Faith Ministers International Headquarters, right here in the sunshine city of Port Moore St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. So whatever platform you are viewing us on, we are truly grateful that you have chosen to worship with us in this, our minister's Sunday service. That's right. Every first Sunday is presented under the auspices of the ministers. And today we have an extra special session lined up for you so open your hearts to receive what is prepared there is indeed a special blessing for you please state your prayer requests anytime during the service in the facebook and youtube chats the service is already in progress so stay tuned for further announcements and reminders at the end for now, come, let us go to church and enjoy the great feast that is prepared specifically with you in mind. Be blessed.
joyful noise into the house of the Lord this morning. Open up those sanctified mouth this morning. Hallelujah and hallow our praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Lord be satisfied with our praise this morning. Who is unto you, O oh God, like you this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus.
Shabbat the Lord. Echo your voice in this place. Let everything that I bread praise the Lord. Let the saints from everywhere praise Him. Let me hear you adore Him this morning. Just lift up your hands in the presence of the triune God. Let everything that I bread this morning. I can't hear you praise Him. I can't hear you praise the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me this morning. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt Him this morning. Find some praise and praise Him. I still don't hear you praise Him. I still don't hear you magnify Him. I still don't hear you worship Him. Woo! Come on, church of the living God. He woke you this morning. And He clown you. Oh, give the Lord praise. Oh, echo your voice over this auditorium. And give the Lord a praise. Shut back in with your praise. Oh, praise him like the devil tremble. Oh, give the Lord praise. Oh, magnify the God of your salvation. Oh, hallelujah. If you feel a hallelujah, say hallelujah. Let the church of God say hallelujah. From the redemption songbook 568. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. Hallelujah. Oh, glory.
at this old fashioned altar. Praise God while we sing, fill my cup. This is what the altar is for. You don't have to carry your burden anymore. You don't have to wait and for an altar call to be healed. Healing is at the altar. Deliverance is at the altar. Victory is at the altar. And guess what? The altar is for Jesus. believers. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God this morning. Hallelujah.
Moses as he went into the wildernesses of sin and the glory of Jesus. The children could not look at Moses because of the glory. Let your glory fill this auditorium this morning. Sit upon this congregation with your praise, with your hand on your glory. Let no self glorify you this morning. Let no material things glorify you this morning. I pray that you will break and you will melt. You will mold and you will fill. Oh, spirit of the living God, will you fall upon us this morning that the sick will be healed, the oppressed will be delivered, and those that are bound with chain and fetter, they will be loosed by the power of God. For when we stand in your name, tell me who can stand before. We rebuke the devourer this morning, and anything that stands against worship, anything that sits in this congregation, that don't look like the power of faith, that don't look like the presence of God, in the name of Jesus, we call for the battalion of heaven to release the fire of God in this auditorium this morning, and it will burn out sin and shame. You will burn what to burn. You will break what to break. You will trample what to trample. You will deliver who to be delivered, and you will set free by the power of Almighty God. Will you bow down nine years? For you are the sovereign God. You are the God of the galaxy. You are the God of the harvest. Will you hear the saints this morning as we cry out unto you this morning? Turn not thy face away from us. Thou put not thy servant away in hunger. As we come today this morning, mighty God of Daniel, oh great God of heaven, hear the cry this morning as we lament, as we groan before thy throne room of glory, will you release your presence this morning, mighty God, upon the choir, send life call from the altar, let the altar this morning lit with fire, liquid fire, fire of heaven, the same fire that anointed Isaiah's lips, and he saw the seraphim and the cherubim, and they did fly and the chain fill the temple. Let the temple be filled with the anointing. Let the temple be filled with the glory. Let the glory of God, let the glory and the presence of Almighty God, let it pass through like a wind in a mighty and a tremendous way. Hear our cry this morning from Maran Pine to Negro Pine. Those that are sick, those who are weary, those who are hearing us from the different media. This morning, mighty God, will you visit somebody? Somebody need a major miracle. Somebody need a super miracle. Miracle come from you. Miracle come from the hands of Almighty God. And so we look towards heaven as the maiden look to the mystery and the servant look to the master. Oh, we look to you this morning for great is thy faithfulness, oh God. Morning by morning, new mercies I see, and all that I've needed ever said to me. Woo! Thy hand have provided that the hands of Almighty God pour out this morning, pour out fresh oil, pour out fresh spirit. Pour it over your people. We need you. We need you. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. We come to thee. Remember your man servant and your woman servant and all the servants of God. Those who carry the gospel far and wide. I pray you will strengthen them when the mind begin to wander and their feet begin to slip. Will you take them on an heavenly trip this morning? Let the comforter, you said if I go, I will send you another comforter, which is the blessed Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost, let the Holy Ghost from heaven, let it tabernacle this morning. And we say this morning, let God arise. 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 And the enemy, let the enemy, let the enemies, let the enemies, let God arise, church of God. Let God arise. 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 Woo! And let the enemy be scattered, east, west, north, and south. 
and we defeat them on our feet. And God will get glory. God will get praise. Adoration, glory, and praise. To the most high God. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand in this atmosphere. And go back to your seat with a praise. With a shout. With a adoration. With a adoration. With a glory. With a honor and praise. Lift up your hand still and praise him. Lift up your hand and praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Clap your hand in the presence of the Lord. Clap your hand in the presence of God. So when we send up the praise, when we send up praise, Lord of mercy, if we don't send up nothing, Get. But when we send up praises, then we send up the message this morning. Hallelujah. Let's turn to your neighbor and greet your neighbor with a smile. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me take time out this morning to honor the presence of the triune God. Hallelujah. Who is eminent among us this morning. To him I give glory. To him I give the honor. To him I give the praise this morning. He's worthy of our praise. And I thank him this morning that he has kept me. Amen, that I can be back in his house this morning to give him praise, honor, glory, and dominion, and praise to the most high God. If it had not been for the Lord that was on my side and your side, then when the enemy rise up against us, then they will swallow us alive. And so can we lift our hand and give him praise for that. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I greet my worthy bishop. Praise God. Bishop Dr. Delfo Davis, praise God. Minister Petrova Davis, First Lady of the House, God tries servants. We greet them well this morning. Praise God, who God have choose over this ministry in the spirit of obedience to lead us. And we give God thanks for them. Can you say amen for that? Praise God, and I greet Reverend Isil the Nolman and all my ministerial colleagues. Praise God. Hallelujah. And to all God's wonderful servant leader. Praise God, in my days, we don't go through all this. We say to the whole house of faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we greet you well this morning in the powerful name of Jesus. Are you glad to be in God's presence? Are you glad to be alive this morning? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This morning we'll read from, praise God, Joel chapter 2, reading from verse 12, praise God, to verse 27. And I will read while you follow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, let me hear you say amen. amen. Praise God. Therefore, also now, says the Lord, turn even to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And repented in him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of his closet. 
Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spear thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the Eden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and he shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make your reproach among the Eden, but I will move far from you with another army, and will drive them in a land barren and desolate, with his face toward the east sea, and his in the part toward the uttermost sea, and his thing shall come up, and his ill savior shall come up, because he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastors of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad, then, ye children of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain of the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vase shall be overflowed with wine and oil. And I will store to you the ears that the locusts have eaten, the conquer worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, and my great army, which I send among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, that he had dwelt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. 27 verse. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And none else and my people shall never be ashamed. Hallelujah. If your hands and said I will never be ashamed. I will never be ashamed. Oh great God. Hallelujah. God has spoken. Let the church said, Amen. God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, praise God. We're going to have our general welcome and acknowledgement by Exalta Melissa Fagan. Welcome to the Power Faith International Sunday Morning Live Service here at Lot 13, Portmore Town Center, St. Catherine, under the leadership of Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Today is no ordinary Sunday. It's a moment in time where we purposefully set aside the routine to embrace the extraordinary. We are here to encounter the divine, to seek a deeper connection and to let the spirit of worship envelop us. On behalf of our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, and our first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, all the ministers and officers of the Power of Faith Ministries International, I would like to welcome all our visitors who are here with us in the sanctuary this morning. Special welcome to the bundles of joy that are here with us and their families. To our viewers on Flow Channel 602 and 672, Digiplay Channel 20, those on our social media platforms, your presence enhances our worship, and we are honored to have you share in this sacred time. To our dedicated servant leaders, thank you for being the heartbeat of this community. Your commitment to worship and fellowship is the foundation upon which moments like these are made. Today's service is crafted with intention, each element carrying a message, each moment an opportunity for us to connect with the Lord. So let us treasure this time and engage fully in today's service. Let us transcend the ordinary and enter into a space of reverence and awe. Together, let us lift our voices, bow our heads, 
and open our hearts to what the Lord has in store for us this morning. Let joy rise, let gratitude overflow, and let the peace that surpasses all understanding find a dwelling place in our heart. Thank you for being present at this special worship service. May the grace of God permeate every note of our music, every word spoken, and every prayer uttered. May this time of spiritual encounter be a renewal and transformation for all of us. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the service. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Fagan. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Still praise him, man. Still give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. We are live with stone in the presence of God. At this time, we're going to listen to the choir ministry, Voices of Triumph. Praise God. And then after, we will have the dedication of pages. Praise God.
in retrospect reminisce right now what it used to be oh glory to God that joy that fellowship that zeal oh hallelujah I want to go back Lord to that place just lift your hands above your head and say take me back Lord say it with a passion take me back Lord Take me back, Lord, to that place where I first believed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. This morning is our first Sunday, and we are preparing for the dedication of our babies. At this time, I'm going to be asking the parents, the grandmothers, whoever, what relation you are, going to ask you to stand at this time and come with the babies please praise God as the worship leaders will sing when mothers of Salem their children brought to Jesus thank you Jesus when mothers of Salem their children brought to Jesus the stern disciples drove them back and leave them all depart chapter 10 verse 13 to 16 and they brought young children to him that he should touch them 
and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. Glory to God this morning as you bring the children into the house of the Lord. Ephesians 6 and verse 4 said, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Child development refers to the changes that occur as a child grows and develops. Physically healthy, mentally alert, emotionally sound, and socially competent and ready to learn. The first five years of a child's life are fundamentally important. They are the foundation that shapes a children's future, health, happiness, growth, development and learning achievement at school, in the family and community and life in general. They need love and nurturing to develop a sense of trust and security and turn into, and turn into confidence as they, grow, as they grow. Children live what they learn. Be their first example. As you prepare to dedicate your child to the Lord today, my request is that you make it more than a formality or a tradition. But you will be the first example in the life of your child. Do not be a signpost pointing the child in the direction he or she should go. But you will be that guide. Take them to church. Have family devotion. Spend quality time with your child. Do not grow your child on gadgets. Don't let television, don't let tablets grow your child. And when you want to have fun, it's a responsibility that you have taken on. And God is expecting you to grow this child in his fear and in his admonition. So we charge you parents that you look into yourselves and know that you are given God's gift this morning. They are treasures. They are priceless. Praise God. They are very valuable. Many would have done anything and have tried everything this morning to be a mother. So you are blessed. To be a father. So you are blessed. So don't take it for granted this morning. God has given you a treasure and he expects you to nurture them to admonish them, to train them, and to bring them up in the fear of Almighty God. Our prayers are with you. We are here as a church to assist you in their spiritual development. Praise God at this time. I'm going to be asking Minister Sharon Grant, as she'll be coming, to call the names of the children that will be blessed and dedicated to the Lord this morning. We have Malaysia, Kylie Hines, parents, Moya Bird, and Duane Hines. Jalissa, Jayla Palmer, mother, Kadian Johnson. Rossini, Elijah, Joshua Samuels, parents, Chantel Gale and Rossini Samuels. Ramon, Roshane Wright, parents, Violet Chambers and Lloyd Wright. Davion, Roshane Dennis, Parents, Anastasia Brown and Davion Dennis. Jail Cavon Webb, mother, Kahelia Campbell. Zuri Sage Omari Samoa. Parents, Jodian Brown and Robert Samoa. 
Jeanne Michaela Kamsa Campbell, mother Tony Sasha Gay Campbell, Raina Rayleigh Roberts, mother Shana K. Henry, Alora Zaria McGregor, parents Shani Campbell and Rowan McGregor, Kavon Zahari Burton, parents Monique McLaren and Jovan Burton, Kalmia Kaja Bloomfield, parents. Keisha and Gavin Bloomfield, DeAndre Dominique Dennis, parents, Tanisha Gray and Errol Dennis, Caldre Isaiah Freitas, mother, Kimon O'Connor, Raphael Orlando Tyrell, parents, Regine Phillips and Roshane Tyrell, Kais Niana Walker, parents, Sharika Edwards and Kedon Walker, and Adora Rosetta Campbell, Parents, Kalia Beckford and Danai Campbell. God bless you. Praise God. And I noticed this morning we have at least one, two, three, four fathers who are holding their child. This is commendable. And I really commend them this morning. And, you know, I note over the recent past that men are standing up to their responsibility. And we really want to salute you this morning. Yes, you get a woman pregnant. It is your responsibility to stand by her and to see that child's full development. You become the priest, the guide, and the instructor of that child. And so this morning, we continue to give commendation to our men. And I hope many more absentee fathers will see the importance and their role in the home and will resume back such so we commend you men this morning and we give god thanks for you and may you continue to be that example praise god thank you jesus I'm going to ask the congregation at this time to stand with me as we present these babies commit them to the hand of almighty god Praise God, they are living in one of the most challenging time in the history where we see children now, I mean, are being abused in so many different forms. And we are asking God for comprehensive blood coverage upon these children that they will not be victims of any such. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, our God. How excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens. This morning, almighty God, we stand in your awesome presence. Dear God, we acknowledge you as the only potentate. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the mighty God. You are the everlasting father. And you are the prince of peace. Hallelujah. This morning, almighty God, we stand in this special morning service as these young lives, dear God, are brought into your presence right now Lord you know them even before they were conceived in their mother's womb Lord Jesus I know God you have plan and purpose for their lives this morning you told Jeremiah before you was conceived in your mother's womb I know you before you came as out I sanctify you and I ordain you a prophet almighty God this morning we reverse every family curse we take authority in the name of Jesus Christ that oh God you lay your nails card hand upon every one of these children this morning Lord I know you have a purpose for their lives this morning and oh God Almighty, even though Pharaoh tried to kill Moses, Moses could not die because you have purpose. Lord Jesus, this morning, will you lay your nails card hand upon these children in the name of Jesus Christ? I speak into their lives. 
this morning oh God let there be some prophet let there be some prophetess in the name of Jesus we break the family tradition Holy Ghost of God will you mantle them in the name of Jesus Christ there will be no liability to society there will be assets oh God in the name of Jesus there are some doctors there are some lawyers there are some school teachers there are some nurses oh God Almighty let them them be developed let them come forth nothing almighty God will stand in the way to prevent your purpose for their lives this morning in the name of Jesus Christ I cover them under your blood assign your angels to watch over them God in their going out and in their coming in in their they're lying down and in their waking up their hands that will care for them God let them be loving hands not abusive in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Ghost of God yes Lord you know the school that they will attend Holy Ghost of God direct their lives this morning Jesus Jesus, Spirit of the living God, Lord Jesus, even as you were brought into the house, oh God, in the temple to be blessed, Simeon took you in his arms, oh glory to God, I pray this morning, you will take every one of these children this morning and lay your hands upon them and bless them this morning in a very special shall wear holy ghost of God see them Lord with your blood stamp them with your blood no sickness no diseases in the name of Jesus we cut the bloodline let your blood be connected no God flush out Cut the bloodline, Holy Ghost of God. Let them be connected to your bloodline, Jesus. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of God. Mm. Lay hold on them, Jesus. Lay hold on them this morning. Hey, God Almighty, I pronounce heaven blessing upon them. Jesus, Jesus, the mothers, the fathers, as they are here this morning and they are held in their arms, divine God, help them to see purpose, help them to see your treasure, help them to see a future prime minister, help them to see a future doctor, help them to see a future preacher, help them to see a prophet, Holy Ghost of God this morning, let them know that their child is no ordinary child. Your hands are upon them, God Almighty. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Let them work honestly, oh God Almighty, to provide bread and all the necessary provisions for these children. In the name of Jesus Christ, no illicit practice in the name of Jesus. But honest hands, they will work divine God to meet the needs of these children. Bless everyone, we pray. Mother and father and child is now blessed. Hallelujah. And we dedicate these children back to you now, Lord, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Because God, whom you bless, no man can curse. We bless them now, one. We bless them now, all. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. We're going to ask about four of the ministers 
very quickly to go down to take the child and just present them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Very quickly, ministers, just go down, praise God, and take a child and present them back to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Just wave your hands. Wave your hands. His presence is here. The Holy Spirit is in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Emosa. Daddy Jesus, I present Calje to you this morning. Mighty God, our little son is fearfully and wonderfully made. Father, I pray you bless him from the crown of his head to the very sole of his feet. We present him to you, Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, lift up Raina Robinson to you now. Raina Robinson is blessed. She is given back to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Jesus. Lord, I hold in my hand this morning Malaysia Hines by name who are taken to the house of the Lord to be blessed. This child is now blessed, consecrated, and given back to God in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God. Father, I present little Kaisi to you right now, God. Father, I thank you for her, almighty God. I pray, God, that you bless her from the crown of her head, mighty God, to the very soles of her feet, God. Father, little Kaisi is blessed, consecrated, and given back to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we present little child web to you. Brought into your house to be blessed. He's blessed, consecrated, and given back to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. DeAndre. Heavenly Father, we present DeAndre to you. DeAndre is blessed. He is sanctified. He will be strong in the Lord. We thank you, God, for your blessings and your hands upon him. In Jesus' name. Glory, glory, glory to God. Heavenly Father, I present it a Laura to you, Almighty God. Father, I thank you for taking her, God, into this house to be blessed. Father, I pray you cover her, Almighty God. Again, Lord, from the crown of her head, God, to the very sole of her feet. Little Alora is blessed. She's consecrated and she's given back to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I hold in my hand this morning, Jaisa, Palmer by name, who have taken to the house of the Lord to be blessed. This child is now blessed, consecrated, and given back to God in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Heavenly Father, I present back to you right now, little Adora Campbell, from this very hour, She's blessed, consecrated, and given back to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I hold in my hand this morning, Zuri, who have taken to the house of the Lord to be blessed. Zuri is now blessed, consecrated, and given back to God in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for Kalmia Broomfield, as she's so named right now. I pronounce your blessings upon her. From this very hour, she's blessed, consecrated, and given back to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We admonish you and encourage you to continue to take very good care of your children. They are priceless. Love them, nurture them, care for them. Let them feel your love and reassure them. Praise God. God bless you. It was our pleasure to serve you. At the end of the service, you'll be able to collect your baby christening certificates.
a pleasure indeed. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you, Minister Davis. Praise the name of the Lord. While the parents are going back to their seat, please stand and let me sing this chorus for two times. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down. Oh, when the capacity. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cast his face to shine upon you and give you peace through this week. And as we have read this powerful scripture this morning, I want you to take it with you that God's children will never lift up your hand and say we will never be ashamed no matter all the circumstances one one we now go bow to the devil we never go eat from the devil. We never go share with glory with the devil. Oh, hallelujah. Lift up your hand one more time. Let me come down. Lift a long time. Me not take the mic. You know. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, no, give me pass. Let me praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. I'm going to listen to the voice of the ministry. Voice is us inspiration. Praise God. And when they are true, I want to put together 
your hands and welcome our first lady minister Petrova Davis in care of the Holy Ghost God bless you and minister Maxine Murray hallelujah church glory to God God is good God is great I am somebody that can say that because I could not have been here this morning but God is good and I'm standing on my feet thank God bless God for the leaders of this church bless God for Pastor Davis thank you Jesus hallelujah
God, you can have your seats for just a brief moment. Praise God. Praise God. I extend special Holy Ghost greetings. Praise God. On behalf of the set man of the house, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, yours truly, hallelujah. I want to greet all of God's generals, both on the upper and the lower platform. I want you to give the ministers a very big hand this morning. <laughs> Glory to God. I want you to give the choirs who have blessed our hearts richly. The musicians, we give God thanks for them. The AV department, we give God thanks for them. The wonderful prayer mothers, we give God thanks for them. We give God thanks for you and you and just about all of you. Just put your hands together and give yourselves a big hand. And all of those who are out there and the different media platforms this morning, we thank you for tuning in. Praise God. I know Bishop Davis is watching and we continue to pray for him. Just stretch your hand and say, bless him, Lord. Say, strengthen him, Lord. Say, keep your hands upon him, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I would do this uh, at the end, but I'm just going to do maybe two from this, which is very critical. Bishop asked me to announce that um, this Wednesday, the 10th of April, it will be a general officers meeting. Officers meeting means, when you say general, it's for all categories of officers, ushers, uh, auxiliary leaders, Whatever position you hold as an officer in the church, you are invited to be at this meeting at 7 o'clock on Wednesday evening. That means there will be no night service. We'll be having general officers meeting. We meet with our bishop on Wednesday of this week to discuss some very important matters as it leads up to the very, very, very big one. This is a very big one. Last year was big. But I'm still looking that this year will even be bigger, although last year was 40 years, but this one is 41 years. So the big, big one is right on our heels, and that is convention. And this will be on Sunday, the 21st of April, and it will be one morning service. And that morning service will commence at 8 a.m. We are giving an extra hour that the people that are coming from Goshen and Mandeville and Bag Walk and St. Thomas and wherever they are coming from, we are giving them an extra hour so they can make it here on time to be partaker of the convention. All right, so instead of 7, it will be 8 a.m. So convention, convention 2024 will be April 21st. Praise God. And so we are asking you to be out. I think it's going to be a very, very power-packed one. The preachers, I know they are praying and seeking the Lord. And I just want us also to pray and keep our hearts and mind on the Lord and trust God that he will bless the effort. I have other announcements, but I will do at the end of the service. But this morning, we are blessed. You know, Power of Faith Ministries has been impacting lives worldwide. And, uh, you know, God knows the reason why this ministry at this time is using it for his glory and for his honor. We have two wonderful people with us this morning. My very first time meeting them and God was so good as I came out of my vehicle this morning and there they were and I was able to have greeted them and escorted them inside. They are from England, Great Britain and they have been viewing the program and they told themselves that whenever they come to Jamaica, whatever it takes, they are going to be coming to power of faith, to meet God's wonderful people that have been ministering and blessing their lives. And so this morning, we are most honored and blessed to have Brother Colin and Sister Marjorie Etten out of England. I'm going to ask you to stand and power of faith, give them the power of faith. Welcome. We really appreciate you, sir and ma'am. Thank you very much for coming. God richly bless you. A pleasure indeed to have you sharing in our midst. Praise God. We also have the Gabidans out of St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. 
We have Brother Cotis and um, his wife, Sister Latoya, and Latia, their daughter. Are they in the audience this morning? They are all the way over there. That's the late mother Gabidan's son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter. And they are here with us. We give God thanks. Give them a power of faith. Welcome. They are all the way. They are out of this church, but God has them over foreign lands. We give God thanks for you both, for you three. God bless you indeed. Praise God. Also, I just want to acknowledge Sister Marcia Winter. She's not here in, in, um, in her presence. Is not, is not here in person, but she has sent what Bishop asked for last week. I was greeted with one of my church sisters there, and she has made her personal contribution to which I will insert in the offering. The Lord richly bless you, Sister Marcia Winter, for your love and your thoughtfulness. Power of faith, continue to pray for you. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to stand with me at this time. I'm going to ask you to just stretch your hand across to the shoulders of, soldiers, the shoulder of the person next to you. Just rest your hand on the shoulders. Make that connection. Hey, release release the virtue release the anointing release you don't know what that person may be going through right now but in the name of jesus ah we are breaking we are breaking we are setting free we are loosing we are loosing every bonds every powers Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Release your anointing right now. Ah, glory. Set at liberty. In Moses. Ha, ha. Hey, glory to God. Yes, Holy Spirit. Do it for us right now. In the name of Jesus. We are believing you, God. That every lawful captive is loose right now. Every sick body is here right now. Every oppressed soul is set free right now because of the anointing. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Emosa. Yes, Holy Spirit. Glory. Spirit of the living God Spirit of the living God Fall afresh right now Fall afresh right now Change the very atmosphere Yes Lord Hallelujah 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 We worship We worship We worship We worship We adore you God We put no one before you Yes, take preeminence right now. Get your glory. Get your glory. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Claim your victory. Claim your deliverance. Claim your breakthrough. The anointing is in the house. The anointing is here this morning. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Holy Ghost of God, we worship, we worship, we worship, we worship, we worship, we worship. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's no stranger to this pulpit. He has preached on many occasions and has been a blessing. It's my privilege and my pleasure to present to us this morning, this morning's speaker, Minister Andrew Brown. Receive him in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. I am blessed and I'm highly favored. I am blessed and I'm highly favored. I was born with a prize And with God they sacrifice I am blessed And I'm highly favored Church, I am blessed And I'm highly favored Church, I am blessed And I'm high.
and welcome God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, then tell me where I would be this morning. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Let me greet the set man of the house, our presiding bishop, overseer, the Reverend Dr. Delford Davis, a wonderful servant of God, a humble servant of God, a precious servant of God. Put your hands together for our overseer, our bishop, our pastor, our shepherd. Praise God. We give God thanks for his dear beloved wife, Dr. Pechova Davis, who have been standing by him. I've been a tower strength to him. Praise be to God. We give God thanks for you, ma'am. Praise be to God and to our reverend Isil, the Nootman, a stalwart of the faith. Praise God. We thank God for her. And certainly to all my ministerial colleagues, both on the upper and the lower platform, praise God. And to all the elders, praise God. All servant leaders, praise be to God. All visitors in the house this morning accept special greetings praise god and those who are listening those who are viewing from wherever you are we want to know that jesus is alive praise god and he's here to meet your needs oh glory be to god and certainly i give god thanks for my dear beloved wife praise god missionary joy brown who have been standing by me praise god hallelujah and have given me the support that I need, praise God, because beside every good man, there is a great woman, praise God, hallelujah. The scripture was already read this morning, and I want to read from verse 12 to 13, and I take it up from 21 to the end. That is Joel chapter 2, 12, 13, 21 to 27. I'll read. Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Rend your heart not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful. Slow to anger. And of great kindness. And repented him of the evil. We go over to 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat. And the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. That the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and he shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dwelt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And none else. And my people shall never 
be ashamed. Father, I thank you for your word. Divine Lord God, I thank you for your presence. Because it is in your presence, Lord, we are strong. It is in your presence, Lord, we are made whole. It is in your presence, Lord, we find freedom. And so, Lord, we acknowledge you. We acknowledge your greatness. Lord God Almighty, as I stand before this waiting audience, you know their place. You know they're going through. You know what their experiencing is. You know what their desires are. And so, Lord God, as I stand to declare your word, Lord, I pray, divine Lord, that your word, Lord, will be like a flame of fire. Lord God Almighty, let it bring healing and restoration and deliverance to your people. Let it bind the force of darkness, Lord God Almighty. Let it speak against every opposing element right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Lord God, that thou will use me for your glory and for your honor and for your praise. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. You may have your seat this morning. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I want to share a message with you this morning based on the passage of scripture that we have read. Repent and be restored. Repent and be restored. We know that repent means to turn away from sin. And anything that is against the standard of Almighty God, praise be to God, we must turn away from them. We look at the word restore, which speaks of restoration. It means to build back. It means to bring back. Brothers and sisters, it speaks of which the act of turning something to its original form, place, or condition. Praise be to God. It speaks of brothers and sisters making new again, even better than they were in their current state. Praise be to God. And so I want to say to us this morning, brothers and sisters, that anything that you have lost, that anything that seems dead, that anything that becomes dormant, you can be restored. They can be restored. And they can be revived. Oh, praise be to God. Because we serve a God who is faithful. The faithfulness of God, brothers and sisters, it speaks of God's everlasting love. God's everlasting mercy. And it speaks of the sufficiency of God's grace. Oh, praise be to God. And that which will bring us our restoration. Hallelujah. Can I say to you this morning that in spite of your unwillingness, in spite of your shortcomings, in spite of our unfaithfulness, God remain faithful. Oh, praise be to God. Oh, hallelujah. I said in spite of our unfaithfulness, God is still faithful. And he is just to forgive us. Oh, praise be to God. So even when some people write you off, God is faithful. Even though some people may condemn you, God remains faithful to you. All glory to God. And so brothers and sisters, we can lean on him. We can depend on him. We can rely on him. Because there is no failure in the God of our salvation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And that is why the writer said, great is God's faithfulness. When you think about the goodness.
presence of God. He said, morning by morning, glory be to God. New mercies I see. All that I have ever needed, thine hands provided. Great is God's faithfulness. Glory be to God. God will do whatever it takes to restore his people. And I don't care how broken you are this morning. I don't care how wounded you are this morning. I don't care how battered you are this morning. God can revive you. God can bring you your restoration. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. To a lost soul this morning, God can restore you. To a backslider this morning, Oh, praise be to God. You may feel like you're so far gone, but God eyes are on you and God can restore you this morning. Like this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his trouble. Praise God. Whatever have you done, praise be to God. Whatever have kept you bound this morning. Whatever have trapped you this morning. God is saying, I'm bringing you back to where you rightfully belong. Oh, praise be to God. Hallelujah. The book of Joel, brothers and sisters, a very interesting book. It carries three chapters. And it is the book, brothers and sisters, that speaks about the impending judgment of Almighty God. Oh, praise be to God. The word of the Lord declares in chapter 2 and the verse 1, it said to Joel. Now I want you to understand that the name Joel means Jehovah is the Lord. Praise God. His name is from the Hebrew origin, Yoel. Y-O-E-L, meaning Yahoo, is God. Praise be to God. And brothers and sisters, it is said, dating back to biblical time, this name is steep in history and culture. And it is perfect for baby if you are planning on raising them. To follow in the original Joel faithful footstep. Praise be to God. There is not much said about the prophet Joel. Only that he was a prophet and the son of Pethuel. He may have lived in Jerusalem because his audience was the people of Judah, the southern kingdom. Whoever he was, Joel speak foot rightly and forcefully in this short and powerful book. Praise God. His message is one of foreboding and warning, but it's also filled with hope. Joel state that our creator, the omnipotent God, the omnipotent judge, the merciful one, that he wants to bless us if we put our trust in him. Oh, praise God. Joel begin by describing a terrible plague, if you read chapter 1, of the locusts that cover the land and devour the crops. The devastation wrought by these creatures is but a foretaste of the coming judgment of God. The day of the Lord, Joel urged the people to turn from their sinful ways and turn back to God. Oh, praise God. Lord, take me back to the place. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Joel urged the people to turn from their sin and turn back to God. Woven into the message of judgment and the need for repentance. As an affirmation of God's kindness and the blessing and the promise. For all who followed him. Praise God. And brothers and sisters. The team has been declared repent and be restored. Because not all of us this morning brothers and sisters. 
Or may I say, brothers and sisters, we are not bigger than repentance. Oh, praise God. You are not too holy. You are not too righteous. Oh, praise God to repent. Oh, glory be to God. Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of Almighty God. So none of us, oh, glory to God, can tell ourselves that we have graduated from repentance. Oh, glory be to God. When you read chapter 1 of Joel, it speaks of an invasion of locusts that have invaded the land of Judah. These army brothers and sisters, it has ravished their crops. It has ravished their fruit bearing trees. Destroyed their factories and their economy. Praise be to God. Why? Because a people who God has spent time with. A people who God a fellowship with. A people that God that share his love with. They have turned their backs on God. They have walked away from God. They begin to live their own way. They begin to do their own thing. They begin to operate against the ordinance and the order and the instruction of Almighty God. They take the word of God in offense. Instead of applying to God's word, they see it as an offense. They have provoked the hunger of Almighty God. Oh, glory be to God. God had to look. And God's plan of action against them was very severe. And we see the devastation and the destruction. Oh, praise be to God. That have taken over. The land, oh praise God of Judah. And God said to this people, I give you a city, you never build. I give you rivers in your desert places. You have forsaken me, you have rejected me. You have become rebellious, stiff, naked and unthankful and ungrateful unto me. God said, I'm going to discipline you. God caused the armies of locusts to come and to spoil their crop. Oh, praise be to God. God of caused those locusts to turn their paradise desolate. Oh, praise be to God. To spoil their prestigious liberty. Oh, praise God, brothers and sisters. We are still in the days today. We forget. The where God has brought us from. Oh, praise be to God. We forget, oh, God had blessed us. Oh, praise be to God. We forget the fellowship that we share with God. And my God, Zion today is not at the place where God wants you to be. Oh, praise God. We become our own righteousness. We become our own holiness. We have become so self-righteous, self-centered. Oh, praise be to God. And instead of put God first, we put ourselves first. Instead of put God first, we put people first. Instead of put God first, we put our program first. But God is saying to us this morning that we need to repent. Oh, praise God to be restored. I don't care how big you think you are. You are not bigger than the word of God. You are not bigger than the precepts of God. You are not bigger than the instruction of God. You are not bigger than the audience or the ordinance of Almighty God. So brothers and sisters, God action for Israel was for them to repent and to be restored. This is where the prophet Joel, son of Pethel, comes in. He was given the charge, the mandate to motivate repentance by proclaiming the day of the Lord. Joel insists that the only hope for God's people was true repentance. Oh, praise God. By proclaiming God's words. His words, brothers and sisters, to the people was to bring hope even in the midst of their backslidden state. God is merciful. And God will never put us to shame. 
Oh, praise God. He assured Judah that repentance would be rewarding with physical and spiritual restoration. And it is true repentance, brothers and sisters. Every one of us must see the restoration of Almighty God. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and sisters, we join with the psalmist David this morning. According to the writings of David, David was never too righteous. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. David said, cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit unto me. But Lord God, I know that I messed up. Lord God, I know that I faltered. Lord, I know that I failed you. Lord, I know that I caused you grief and pain. But I want you to restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Give me a right spirit. Give me a willing spirit, a spirit to love my neighbor, a spirit to love those who hate me, a spirit to forgive those who plot against me. Give me a willing spirit, oh God, that I can feed my enemy. And even if them thirsty, let me give them water to drink. God, I want you to restore me. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. We have become proud and braggadocious. Praise God, it's about our fashion and our desire. My God, we design this, we design that. Oh, praise be to God. But I'm here to tell you this morning, it's not about your cute look. It's not about your pretty look. It's not a well you dress. You can look good on the outside, but on the inside, you're like dry support. Praise be to God. But anywhere that is dry this morning, any place that I've gone dormant, whatever I've gone dead in your life, God said to tell you this morning, they are going to come alive. They are going to rise again. He is going to revive you. It's a long time some of you have not felt the presence of God in a personal way. Oh, praise be to God. But I'm here to challenge the faith of God, people, that you need to look in your life and to see how you live. And if you have to shape up, shape up. Oh, praise Praise God, whatever need to fix must be fixed. Oh, praise be to God, because God is getting ready to do a new thing. <laughs> Hallelujah! So God tell Joel to warn Zion, tell the children of Israel to repent. Repent and turn away from your sinful ways. Turn away from your selfish ways. Hallelujah. Lord, give me a heart like thine. Oh, praise be to God. Give me a heart, oh Lord God. Oh God, to forgive those who despitefully use me. Give me a heart like that. Oh Lord God, those who lie against me. Give me a heart like thine. Oh, praise be to God. Give me a heart like thine, oh Lord God. So that I might serve thee. Hallelujah. God wants to show his power in Zion again. We want to see signs and wonders and miracles. Oh, praise be to God. Israel experience it. Therefore, parents experience it. My God, God make a way through the wilderness. God had parted Red Sea. He dried up the Jordan. But here we see the people of Judah. They have given themselves to paganism and idolism. They begin to serve other gods. Oh, praise God. They begin to insult the very present of God and that hungers God and God has to let them know who is in 
charge, who is in control, who run things. God said, I will take away your crop. I will take away your resources. I will ruin your economy. Whatever it's going to take for me to bring back your attention. Whatever it's going to take for me to bring back my relationship. Whatever it's going to take to bring back my fellowship. I'm going to remove them out of your way. If I strip, I have to strip you. I'm going to strip you. Whatever it's going to take to bring you back. Oh, praise be to God. I'm going to take them away from you. I'm going to pull them away from you. You have been distracted. You have been swayed away. And I've been derailed from the presence of God. Oh, glory be to God. Zion need to grow again. Zion need to shout again. Zion need to be on fire again. That no demon can settle. Oh, praise God. No principalities. No evil forces can settle. No witch, no warlock. Because of the presence that is radiated in the house of the Lord. Oh, praise be to God. We must not sit down. Oh, glory be to God. We must give ourselves to the presence of God. And let God use us. We are God's army. Oh, praise be to God. Wherever we go, we must make a mark. Lord God Almighty, we must make a mark. And people must know who God is. Lord God Almighty, he's the all time undisputed. He's the champion of love. Brothers and sisters, the church need to get back to the basic. The church need to get back to consecration. We need to get back to the place where we see the water troubled. And when the water troubled, when you step into it, I don't care how dumb you are. I don't care how sick you are. You can come out heal. You can come out delivered. You're going to come out set free. Oh, praise be to God. Because of the power of God. And because God gets ready to restore. Every conqueror of spirit. Every palmer of spirit. Every caterpillar of spirit. That is eating away. Oh, praise God. Your prosperity. Lord God Almighty. I said help. Every low cost, we bind them in the name of Jesus because God said, You shall restore, you shall be revived. Oh, glory to God, you shall be made renewed. And who not like it, them have bite it. Oh, praise be to God because when God is at work, every demon and devil, them have to back away and let the king of glory walk in oh praise god because you're overshadowed by his boundless love you have the protection of your lord above jesus with me every passing day lord god almighty i wish to god that the church of today will rise up in faith oh praise be to god and get radical and get raw and let the devil know that we are here to stay we are here to stay oh praise be to God hallelujah so when we have a made up mind when we are fully committed we will say like the Apostle Paul, what shall separate me from the love of God? Lord God Almighty. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. All my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change comes. I don't know what seas you are in. I don't know the series of you. Oh my God. I don't know the series of your life. I don't know your episode. But one thing I can tell you. If God is before you. You're not coming out as a victim. You're going to come out as a victim. You're not going to come out as a loser. You're going to come out as a champion in God. Because he is the God who will fight all battles. Though the battle may be hot, 
and the conflict sore. The rock in a roar as I travel along. Hold on a little longer, my sister. Hold on a little longer, my brother. Weeping may endure for a night to feel God. But your morning of joy is coming. You may not know how. You may not know when. You may not know the how. You may know not the minute. But one thing I know. That God is an on-time God. Oh, praise be to God. He knows when to show up. He knows when to turn up. No devil can laugh. He will not shame you. Oh, praise be to God. David said, "Him when I was young. And now I'm whole. Yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I believe that and you see go begging bread I said many times if I want bread if I want slice my portion is there because God is my portion I said God is my refuge God is my strength come on brothers and sisters my present help in my trouble time can I tell somebody if I need a lawyer I can call on him if I need a doctor I can call if I need a counselor, I can call on him. If I need a friend, I can call on him. He's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. I said he's my everything. My water when I'm thirsty. My bridge over my troubled water. I don't care what I'm going through. My season is coming. My season of joy is coming. My season of blessing is coming. My season of breakthrough is coming. My Caesar, oh glory be to God, a joy is coming. It's only a matter of time. Brothers and sisters, God is getting ready here to turn it around. I say God is getting ready to shift the tide and to bring in alignment. Oh praise be to God and give me your blessing and give me your deliverance and give me your breakthrough and give me your healing. Yes, Lord God Almighty, every yoke shall be broken, every chain shall fall. In the name of Jesus, every blood shall loose. In the name of Jesus, because God is with us, the Holy Ghost is with us. usual praise God if the devil work over time you must do double over time oh praise be to God because he ain't going to win oh glory be to God hallelujah you can tell him the hat to the battle is the sweet to the victory and the harder he comes is the harder he will fall because I know in whom I believe and I know that the God that I serve is more than able I know that the God I worship he can pick me up he can turn me around he can plant my feet on a higher ground put a table in the midst of my enemies and anoint my head with oil with my cup full and run it over because the blessing of the Lord make it rich and had it no sorrow to it we must believe God's promise we must believe God's word we must walk in it we must live in it we must eat it glory be to God and let the paganites know their place brothers and sisters we are living in evil time we don't want them to settle in Zion they're not supposed to settle in Zion so when them sit beside you there must be a, mm, 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 mm. get them uncomfortable get them uneasy Oh, praise be to God. Because something is radiating. Fire. 
Fire! 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 Fire them kill! Ebolo mo shata lava. Robo she kolobo. Ebolo shat they can't write you off. Them can't write you off. God stamp you. God stamp of approval is upon you. Glory be to God. Jesus. Jesus. I said Jesus. I said Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may feel forsaken. Yes, you may feel rejected. Yes, you may feel abandoned. You may feel unloved like nobody cares. Mm, you may, world may seem a puzzle. Oh, praise be to God. Full of pain and grief and sorrow. You may be praying and say, Lord, hold long, hold long, hold long, hold long, hold long. But it's only a matter of time. God is going to shift the cloud. Your gray cloud that is hanging over you. And God going to bring a white cloud. Symbolize blessings and prosperity. Oh, God Almighty, why can't we believe God's word? It's when you believe God's word, you will receive it. Oh, glory be to God. I said God is going to shift the gray cloud. And God going to shower a white cloud over you. Oh, praise be to God. And your blessing is going to flow. Oh, glory be to God. And everything that has been robbed of you, everything that has been taken from you, everything that has been stolen, God is going to bring them back. I feel him, I feel him. I feel him. God can tell of your troubles. He can fix it. He knows just the formula. He knows the method to bring you your victory. Oh, praise be to God. Brothers and sisters, we must lay it all before Jesus. Jesus can fix it. Oh, praise be to God. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. Oh, praise be to God. There is no failure in him who we serve. Hallelujah. God is still our rock of ages. He is still our rock in a weary land. He is still your shelter in the midst of your storm. Can I tell you that what you're going through now, what you're experiencing now, because sometimes we have the good smile, we laugh. Bless you, my sister. Bless you, my brother. You give a smile. But God knows there's a war on the inside. God knows that there is a war on the inside. Because your trust is in God and you know that you change, Lord of mercy, your change is gonna come. You know that He's gonna turn it around, even though it meant to harm you. God is gonna work it in your favor, sister. God is gonna work it in your favor. God is going to twist the tide. God is going to turn your sorrow into joy. Your weeping into mourning. God is going to turn your weeping into joy and gladness. Your mourning into dancing. Your trials into triumph. Praise God, your defeat into victory. Lord have mercy. You're not going to be ashamed. Because God is going to give you the desire of your heart. The writer said, I shall 
forever. Lift mine eyes to Calvary. To view the cross where Jesus died for me. Oh, marvelous. Hey, glory be to God. The grace that caught my fallen soul. He looked beyond. He looked beyond. He looked beyond my faults, my failures, my mistakes, my setbacks. And he saw my needs. Oh, glory be to God. Brothers and sisters, I close. Yes, I close. When you read chapter 1, read chapter 1. He said from verse 5, he said, Awake ye, drunkard, weep and hold. All ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come up, my land, strong and without number. Whose teeth are the teeth of lion. He had the cheek teeth of a great lion. He had laid my vine waste and bark my fig tree. He had made it clean there and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. Lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth. For the husband of her youth, the meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. The people of Judah, they were so caught up in their possession. And God house left, ignored, unattended. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He said the priest of the Lord, ministers mourn, to feel his ways, the land mourn it, for the corn is waste. The new wine is dried up. The high long wish it. Be he ashamed. Oh, he husband man. Hold. Oh, he vine dressers for the wheat and for the barley. Because the harvest of the field is perish. The vine is dried up. And the fig tree long wish it. The pangana tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withered away from the sons of man. Guard yourself, lament, he prays, hold, he ministers at the altar, come. Lie all night in sackcloth. Ministers of God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withhold from the house of your God. Sanctify here fast. Yeah, yeah. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders. And all the inhabitants of the land into the house.
house of the Lord your God. Cry unto the Lord. Alas. For the day. For the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off. Before our eyes. Yea. Joy and gladness. From the house of our God. The seed is rotten under their clothes. The garments are laid desolate. The barns are broken down. For the corn is withered. How do the bees groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed. Because they have no pastures. Yea, the flock of sheep are made desolate. Oh Lord, to thee will I cry. For the fire had devoured the pastures of the wilderness. And the flame had burned all the trees of the field. The beast of the field cried also unto thee. For the rivers of waters are dried up. And the fire had devoured the pastures of the wilderness. What a judgment. What a judgment. But in all of this, God remained merciful. God never do it to condemn them. But he did it because he want back his church. He want back Zion. He shut up. He wants back his praise. He wants back his worship. He wants back his fellowship. Oh, praise be to God. We are so segregated. We are so, we are so much in ourselves. Praise be to God. You are my brother. You are my sister. Praise be to God. I need you. You need me. We are all a part of God's family. We need to take our eyes. Oh, praise God. From those things that are meaningful. Oh, praise God. And look to Jesus. Praise be to God. God said, I want back my people. I want them back to altar. I want to restore them back to altar. Hey, hey, hey. I want them back to Halta. You have walked away from me. You have forsaken me. You offend me. Oh, praise God, my words. God said, I want to restore you. I want to build back my relationship. I want to build back my love life with you. Jesus. Zion! Zion God said you are out of place You are out of place God want you back Take me back Take me back Take me back Take me back to the place Where I first received you Take me back Take me back to the whole landmark Take me back we are too busy doing our own thing. We are too busy caught up running off the things that are running, leaving us. We are too busy caught up. Oh, praise God, decorating our world. And we ignore God's house. Hey, 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 hey. I want to go back. I want to go back. I've got to go back to the place. We are used to find time for God. Spend time before God. Find my secret closet and talk to Jesus until He visit with me. Talk to Him until He touch me. Talk to Him until He minister to me. I want to feel Him. Jesus. 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 Cry unto the Lord. Jesus, I know God is speaking. I know God is speaking. I know God is speaking. I know God is saying something. Some of us were too cute. We are not cute for God. We 
are not excluded we are included Jesus 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 Joel says sanctify your fast call the ministers call the elders high rank servant leaders Joel said God said to call call the congregation of Israel you have walked away from me you have walked away from me you have walked away from my presence hey, hey. Me back to the place where I stand with me, church. Some of you should not reach this altar a long time. We're too holy, we're too righteous. We are so pure, we are so perfect. I am marred. I want to be removed. I want to be make over. Jesus, take me back. Take me back. I want to go back. Glory, glory, glory. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Jesus. To the place where I first received you. Take me back. Jesus. First belief. Come a little closer, there's some space still here. That I was you. Yes, Lord. The memories are drawing yes, Lord. me. Restoration. Restoration. I must confess. Restoration. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, still my soul. Lord. Get it back, you're getting it back. You're getting it back. You're getting it back. You're getting it back. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. To the place. 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 Take it back, Lord.
Everyone lift your hands across this auditorium. Jesus, the Holy Ghost is ministering. The Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Ghost is working. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your presence. I thank you, Lord, for your word. I thank you, divine Lord God, for the response of your people. Great God, you gave this word to me. Divine Lord God, I'm not excluded, I'm included. I pray, divine God, that you'll restore everything that the conquer worm have eaten. Lord, restore everything that the palmer worm has eaten. Restore everything that the locust has eaten. Everything that the caterpillar have eaten, restore them. Restore my consecration. Restore my prior life. Restore my prior life. Jesus, touch me again, Lord. Bring me back, Lord God, to the place where I feel your presence. I pray right now over your people. I pray over your congregation. That, Lord God, we will see the need to seek you. We will see the need to draw close to you. We will see the need to acknowledge you in a personal way. Lord, we ask of you, divine God, forgive us of our sinful way. Forgive us of our trespasses. Forgive us, Lord God Almighty, for the way we have failed you. We have failed you, Lord. Lord, forgive us in our act of disobedience to you. Forgive us. In the name of Jesus, and Father, Lord God Almighty, do it for your people right now. Never the same again, because you're the faithful God. Never the same again, because you're the loving Savior. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. Lift up your hands, we give you thanks. In the name of Jesus, restore, 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 restore. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. All the Christian can go back to their seat. Only the Christian. I need a minute or two with all the unsaved. All the Christian, you can go back to your seat. But I want to meet with all the unsaved at the altar. Just for a minute or two. What a powerful service this morning. And if there is any unsaved in the congregation, meet me at the altar. Praise be to God. Praise God, you can come a little closer. Praise God, hallelujah. 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 The faithfulness of God. Look beyond your mistake. The faithfulness of God, look beyond your mess and he sees a soul a soul a soul you are his soul and you're not here by chance but by divine purpose Jesus God love you all bow your heads with me on the altar some of you know that you're supposed to be serving God I don't know what you're waiting on you know you're supposed to be serving God because you can testify of the goodness of God. The songwriter said, For all my life you have been faithful. For all my life you have been good. And I will sing of the goodness of God. Pray after me, Father. 
I know this word is for me. Lord, I heard your voice many times. And so today, Lord, I want to make the change in my life. And that is to accept you as Lord and Savior. Here is my heart. I open it to you. Come into my heart. Come in to stay. Come in, I pray. Father, I love you. But I want to take it a step further. In surrendering my life to you. I give my heart to you. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. I want to make heaven my home. I don't want to share hell with the devil. I want to share heaven with you. So I give him my heart. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for setting me free. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for these souls. They have prayed to you, Lord. Your birthday cry. I pray right now, Jesus, that whatever the challenge they're, that they're facing, whatever experience that is facing them, Lord, as an endurance, I pray, divine Lord God, that you'll cut them loose in the name of Jesus. Set them free by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, we command your Holy Ghost power against every opposing power right now jesus touch them lord and i pray the convicted power be upon them in jesus name amen and amen you can turn around that sister in the white to my lish, her hands in the hair she will give you all the instructions you can follow her. they will take your name and take all your information. God bless you. Were you blessed? For all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been faithful With every breath that I have I will see As the hushers made their way, I love you, Lord. offering you can do it just now praise God take out your best this morning praise God father we thank you we thank you Lord God for the way you have moved in the service this morning we thank you Lord for all the ministries what a blessing and Lord God as we come to share with you in another hero of worship and Lord God Almighty it is in giving we receive Jesus, I pray right now that thou will touch every gift and giver this morning. And I pray your blessing, Lord, upon 
the portion received. Divine Lord God, I pray that thou would bless every pocketbook. Some 60, some 100. Lord, some to the overflow. To the point they don't even have room enough to receive your blessing. Lord God, I thank you, Lord, for every one as they give to the furtherance of your ministry here and hurt. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, we give by cards. That is to my left, your right. Praise be to God. The usher will make their way to give their offering. And immediately the ministers will follow. Praise God. Make welcome Dr. Petrova Davis. Praise God as he, she come to share the announcement she has for us. Bless you. Let's just wave our hands in the presence of the Lord. Just worship Him. Just worship Him. Just worship Him. He's worthy. He deserves the glory and the honor this morning. Glory to God. God bless you. I'll be very brief. We have the announcer who is coming in short order. I was given a little note that Sister Jennifer Huggins from Florida. Sister Huggins, are you here visiting with us from Florida? We welcome you in the worship service this morning. The Lord richly bless you. Praise God. Just to bring some greetings. Sister Sonia Stevenson. Mark Dewall, praise God, she asked me to greet, and I personally want to say God richest blessing to you, Sister Stevenson Mark Dewall. I really appreciate your love expressed, praise God. Special greetings came to us from Missionary Orica Davis, Missionary Lou Edwards, Sister Stacy Fishley, Deaconess Naomi Nelson, Missionary Ivan Shaw, Missionary Dorothy Johnson, Sister Camille Campbell out of Canada, Exhorter Francine Beaver, her son Devante and her husband Tony. She asked me to greet the church on her behalf and to let you know that she's doing very well. Praise God. Those are the greetings. And I just want to thank you wholeheartedly. And I just want to give God thanks for you. And last week, Sunday evening, at Easter, hallelujah, for your outstanding attendance and contribution and support. Give yourselves a very big hand. Praise God this morning. I just want to say thank you thanks to just about everybody i can't go in the details this morning i really wanted to remove i wanted to move an official vote of thanks but i can't go in that detail this morning so i want to say the ministers although you were few in number but that did not stop the move of the lord i want to thank all the wonderful choirs Praise God, and for the first time after many years, we were blessed with the Senior Citizens Choir. We give God thanks for the singing groups. Praise God, and we have created history. We have never had two directors at one time, and further to that, a husband and wife. So we give God thanks for missionary 
Janelle and exhort uh, Leo Paul uh, Thomas. We give God thanks. Praise God. And God doesn't cease to bless us in all the areas. Our young aunties who are now and uncles who are now growing up spiritually and assisting with the, um, the productions that we are doing, we want to give God thanks for them. The aunties, praise God, who continue to give unreservedly, missionary Carol Shearer, Minister Weston Bryan, Mike Angelo, the AV department, and just about everyone, the audiences here at Power Faith and our viewing audiences. God richly bless you. Put your hands together and give everybody a big round of applause. Thank you for your support, your love. Praise God for um, Easter. Hallelujah. Persons are now asking if they are going to do it annually. I'm not making any commitment. We'll see what the Lord does. Praise God. Parents, we are back with the children now. They are now preparing. They are going to be ministering in convention on the 28th. So parents, we are asking you to send out the children. I tell you, this year is going to be a very busy year for them. They are also preparing an item for Mother's Day, Father's Day. And if the Sunday school puts on, praise God, that um, little convention for the children. Well, we call it convention or crusade children's crusade in may they are also going to be participating so the children are going to be very actively involved this year and as soon as we are through with that we're going to go straight into production 2024 so we have a lot on the plate for the children so parents and guardians now is the time to send the children out if they have never been before they can come now we are starting like all over again all right, so parents and guardians, and remember the children don't necessarily have to be a member of Power of Faith. This church, we caters for people from everywhere because we are here to serve God's people in all the ways we can. So if you have children who are ages 6 to 12, we meet with them every Saturday at 1 to and go until 3. And those who are 13 to 25, we go from 3 until five all right so parents please send out the children we are here with open arms to receive them also i see here two announcement missionary novelette parish she's asking or inviting both brothers and sisters for a general work day this saturday april 13th for upcoming convention Brothers and sisters alike, leaders, elders, deacons, whoever you are, you are asked to be out this Saturday, the 13th of April, to have a general cleanup work day in preparation for convention. We don't want everything to remain until the final Saturday. We want to be ahead of time. Also, Deaconess Leslie Johnson, she's requesting persons, persons, sisters, Brothers, if you're a chef, whatever you know you can do, they say many hands make work light. And you know convention is a very demanding time in the kitchen because especially the first Sunday, we cook for everybody. All the outstation churches and those who are here who may want a meal. All right, so convention is coming up. And Deaconess Leslie Johnson, who spearheads this area of the department, She's asking for persons who want to volunteer some time to meet with her at the canteen immediately after we dismissed. So all persons, male and female, whatever service you can offer in this respect, please meet with Deaconess Leslie Johnson at the canteen as soon as we are dismissed. At this time, I'm going to be inviting the announcer to come as she continue the announcement and keep us updated with all the announcement. God bless you. Thank you, Minister. Continuing the announcement of the pages of the Paul Faith Ministry's diary for the week beginning Sunday, April 7th, 2024. Let us welcome back Sister Mel Vardot Goldsmith, who is worshiping with us this morning. <clears throat> 
Greetings came from the following brethren to our Bishop, Minister Davis, and the Power Faith Ministries family. Deaconess Negrita Pennicott, and she sends special greetings to the Voices of Inspiration Choir. Reminders. If you're interested in being a part of the birthday club, please meet with exhorter Ricardo Ricketts or exhorter Denise Morgan by the announcer's office. The Bible Studies Department will have pizza, patties, and natural juices on sale by the Children's Church. Grab yours before going to Sunday school. If you have lost a car key, it is found and in the, in the announcer's office, you may collect same after church. Upcoming events. Your health is your wealth. Are you ready to take charge of your health? Join us on April 25th during our annual convention at the Poor Faith Ministries for a health and wellness fair. Discover a world of wellness and vitality at, your health, at our health fair. Experience free health screening, nutritional guidance, mental health resources, and interactive booths. Don't miss this opportunity to prioritize your well-being. See you there. Ladies, the month of May. Laughter, food, Fellowship under the stars. Stay tuned. The Power Faith Ministries International, in partnership with Jamaica Child Evangelist Fellowship, presents How to Evangelize Children's Seminar Workshop on Saturday, May 4th, from 9.30 to 2 p.m. Topics include life-changing evangelistic Bible lessons, visual aid use, puppetry, and more. Cost of $2,500. Payment and registration must be done before April 28th. For more information, please contact Missionary Denise Thorpe. All couples who have indicated their attendance to the Marriage Enrichment Retreat, Family Retreat 2024, please speak with Ministers Michael Smith and Sharon Duffus Grant after service. Special announcements. Due to Convention 2024, the next meeting for the Senior Citizens Club for the month of April will be held on Tuesday, April 9th at 10 a.m. Volunteers of the Senior Citizens Club are asked to attend the meeting on Monday, April 8th at 6 p.m. This meeting is only for the volunteers and not the senior citizens. The general practitioner will be in office on April 13th at 10 a.m. and the gynecologist will be in office April 20th at 9 a.m. Our fa Wednesday fasting service commences at 9 a.m. with lighting at the altar at 6 a.m. Come expect miracles, breakthroughs, and blessings in abundance. You are sure to leave with a testimony sick and death notices. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. The niece of Sister Tanisha Frigionet, the mother and stepfather of Exalter Maisha Smith, the brother of the mother, sorry, the mother of Brother Oral Mays and the mother-in-law of Minister Nastasia Mays, Sister Eileen Small, the mother of Sister Kareem Williams, the brother of Deaconess Zelfa McIntosh, and Sister Donna Swaby. Scheduled funeral services. The funeral service for the mother of missionary Patricia Hall will be held today at the Fire Baptist Church of God in St. Elizabeth. The funeral service for the late Sister Vashni Hutchinson will be held on Friday, April 12th, right here at the Poor Faith Ministries, beginning at 10 a.m. Interment will be at Medores. The combined choir will minister. The funeral service for the aunt of Sister Rhoda Fuller, the Charlotte, will be held on Saturday, April 13th, at the Royal Hill Church of God of Prophecy in Portland, beginning at 10 a.m. For persons who have not yet collected their anniversary banquet token, 
Please collect same today by the announcer's office. Stay with us for Bible studies immediately after service as we cater for all ages. With that, I come to the end of the announcement. Do have a blessed week. Praise God. As you have been informed, and just to reiterate, remember this Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, meet with our bishop for general officers meeting and Wednesday fasting is a tremendous blessing and remember those of you who are not we are not having a Wednesday night service so try and be out for the Wednesday's fasting also on Friday nights remember we have worldwide prayer meetings all right so the Lord richly bless you I think that is it from us and all those who were baptized and Good Friday, remember we meet with you this morning to commence your new members class. And the general new members class will continue also. The Lord bless you. Will you stand with me at this time, please? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I am healthy, prosperous, wise, and strong. I am God's anointed. I shall live long. I have my abundant life in Jesus Christ. God shall perfect that which concerns me, and no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us, no one forevermore and God's people say, Amen. What a prophetic word from the man of God. Amen. When you're going through a storm and others around you are not, it may seem like your situation is unique. If you believe that your storm is different from the experiences of others, you're setting yourself up for a failure. So, Let's purpose in our hearts to pursue the word of God. It will give us power to make the changes and adjustments we need to make to stand against the storms of life. We hope we were able to challenge you through the spoken word today. And we thank God that we were able to connect with you. To you, our unsaved viewers, we hope that you've made the decision to make Jesus your choice. Tomorrow is promised to no man, so take that step of faith today. Before we go, just a few reminders and announcements. Please note that for today, there will not be a second service. All second services are held only on our second, third, and fourth Sundays. Immediately after the service, we invite you, remain with us for Bible studies or Sunday school. Come as we impart the word of God in order to positively influence the lives of our students and adults. Mark your calendars for our 41st annual international convention as we embark on a soul enriching journey from Sunday, April 21 through to Friday, April 26. This year's convention blossoms under the theme, Harvest, go into the field, do the work. Your reward is sure. So don't let this moment pass you by. Come, experience the joy of fellowship, worship, and divine revelation. Stay tuned for further information. And yes, we cannot thank you and you and you enough for your support given to Easter Hallelujah. It was indeed an awesome time spent in the presence of the Lord and we truly thank you for your support. We look forward to your usual wonderful support. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube and Facebook links. For those who have stated your prayer requests, 
we will indeed be praying that the Lord will make a way in and through your lives. Once again, on behalf of our founder and international presiding bishop and general overseer, Apostle Dr. Delpha Davis, our international first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, and the Power of Faith family, thank you for tuning in to Sunday Morning Live. I am Minister Sharon Duffersgrand. May the peace of the Lord be with you.